Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review episode 23 of season 3 of Arrow, the season finale. And this episode is entitled, My Name is Oliver Queen. And I'm joined by a very special guest star. You know, he, nobody really knows him. He's just an up-and-coming YouTuber. You know, nobody knows this guy. Who am I kidding? This is the guy who gave me this segment. This is the guy who runs this channel. My friend, 22 Tiger Dude. What up, you guys? I can't believe I'm actually guest starring on WWE segment that's on my own channel. Thank you, WWE Fat, for bringing me here to review the season three finale of Arrow with you. You're welcome, my friend. So, I guess we might, as, I might as well explain the plot of this episode. So, what this episode is basically about, it's about, you know, Oliver, he's trying to, you know, stop Raz Al Ghul from bringing the virus to Starling City. And, you know, he's got to deal with, you know, everybody that he's sort of, you know, lied to. And he's got to stop Roz before he releases this bioweapon on the city. So, what did we think of this season finale? I really enjoyed this season finale. What's your quick thoughts really quick? I thought this was a very awesome season three finale. Very well done. I had a really good time with it. So, yeah, I guess we can go into our positives. And I'm going to go first. My positives are the acting in the ep this episode. The acting was really, really good in this episode. You know, Stephen Amell, I, I even said in my season three review that this is the best acting I think I've seen Stephen Amell because he's got to go through all this stuff. And this episode, I think it really shows the most, you know, he has to, you know, confront the people that he has lied to, you know, this entire time, you know, faking this. And I really did like that, you know, so I thought he was really good. Everyone, mostly everyone else was really good. He was really the standout of this entire episode. The action was great. I did love the action, especially the final, you know, sword battle with Oliver and uh, Raz Al Ghul. I did like the sword fight. That was probably the, my favorite action scene, I guess, out of this, in, out of this entire episode. The writing was pretty good with this episode. The directing, I thought, was great with this episode. This was actually my favorite of the flashbacks in this season because, you know, Oliver becomes a monster. He, you know, he finally is like, you know, I just don't care anymore. He shows no mercy to this to the um to the colonel he just shows no mercy to him and he beats the living poop out of him yes i said poop people with a hammer he looked like the guy from old boy and hammer girl from the raid 2 it, it was just brutal it looked like a massacre and then you have M muse too please did i get that right masio Masio. All right. So, and then he comes in, and he's like, he's not dead yet. Shoots him in the face and just walks away. And, you know, his wife is like, you know, Oliver's a monster. And he's like, but I'm the same way. I'm no different. And then he walks away. Both Oliver and his wife go their separate ways, you know. So, yeah. I did like the flashbacks with this episode. And uh, also... You know, I did like how everything was playing out together. They have to stop this virus, and then they have to stop Roz. Really enjoyed the uh, Flash's cameo. Um, you know, him just coming in and saving everybody from uh, get to get out of the League of Assassin dungeon. I thought that was awesome. Those are my positives with this episode. So, lead the way. Yeah, like I said, I thought this was a really good episode, really outstanding. The action scenes are very well filmed. Some of the best well filmed action. I think season three had to offer because for some reason, some episodes, you know, they kind of have too many cuts. Some episodes, it's like the right amount. Um, Taking three, so, Sal. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird how some episodes, they have good action and they have action that could be either okay or good, but not as good. So it's kind of weird how the show kind of goes all over the place and <laughs> whatever episode. But I thought on this one, it was all well filmed. 
editing wise it looked great the sword fighting looks incredible very well choreographed really like the storyline and the reality the present day and in the flashbacks i have to agree with you the flashbacks are some of the best you see in the season because masio and tatsu they're so heartbroken because obviously their son died. They're very heartbroken about it. And you did point out something very good that Oliver he turned to a monster. He was very attached to their son, obviously. It's sad that the son died because of that virus. So that's when Oliver just took it to his actions to point that arrow at the general or colonel. And then the Flash's cameo in the beginning of this episode, I really love that. I mean, you can't complain about the Flash appearing in Arrow. You can't complain about Arrow appearing in the Flash. Obviously, if you saw the Flash episode where Arrow and Firestorm team up at the end of the episode, I can't recall the episode title at this moment. If you watch that Flash episode, Oliver tells Flash that he needs a favor. Obviously, that favor was in the beginning of this episode for the Flash to break everyone out out of the League of Assassins dungeon. I'm just going to call it dungeon. The Flash is like, thank you, Felicity, for revealing my secret identity to a supervillain. No offense. And that, and that, yeah, Malcolm would say no offense. I also did like how he said, they have a hot tub? <laughs> they had a hot tub. Hot tub time machine. Oh. Like Barry slash The Flash, his screen time was so limited, but for the small screen time he had, he really made it really worthwhile honestly also from the previous episode roy as we all know he started a new life so at the end of the previous episode he gives thea his arsenal suit and says how red was more of thea's color so we see thea and the arsenal suit and i gotta say it was really cool you know it, you don't see much of it uh, you only see her in like a couple of scenes in action but i thought it was really cool to see thea and the arsenal suit and it really has me pumped where they're going to go with Thea. It's like we followed these characters since the first season. And, you know, when it came to season three, pretty much, ev pretty much every character we followed is now a superhero with Oliver. <laughs> that was cool. And they're actually using the actual comic book name, Speedy. So that's cool. Yeah, that's right. And I like how Oliver did say that. I was like, um, I was hoping everyone would call you Speedy. The actor who played Ra's al Ghul, just tremendous job. Really portrayed him well. Yeah, to me, he had a lot to live up to because he had to live up to, you know, I know it's completely different, but when Liam Neeson played uh, Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins, it was one of the best villains I've seen in a comic book movie. So he had kind of a lot to follow up. And I think he did a pretty good job. Yeah, you're totally right. It's different. I think for their own right, both Liam Neeson as Ra's al Ghul and Batman Begins and the actor, I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Insert I'll name on. here. Yeah, I'll, I'll insert the name here in the yes. screen. You know, for what he had to offer to the role of Ra's al Ghul in here in Arrow, he did a really good job. I think both credit is equal in all honesty. I really think they're both equal. And I did like how Felicity was talking to Oliver to don't fight to die, yeah. fight to live. There you go. I like that whole speech she was giving Oliver at the end. We see that Oliver is actually going to retire as Arrow. Of course, well, he might come back. You know, we don't know what season four is going to offer us. But as of right now, for a finale, you know, apparently he's going to retire which I think is interesting. Yeah, I had a lot of things to like about this episode. Those are all my positives with this finale. I do have two negatives with this uh, episode, Felicity. Uh, it's a shame, I'm going to be honest. The way how she comes from seasons one and seasons two, even the beginning of season three, to see where she is now as just a whiny, not another whiny complaining woman in a show. That's my biggest problem with most shows. They just don't know how to write women. Walking Dead did it the worst, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I swear, you could not like one female on that show. Felicity was that one that you that you liked all the way through, but then she started becoming so annoying, and it was just... Mm. The thing I always laugh at is when Ray is like, there's thousands of people we need to save, but Oliver! <laughs> Put Oliver this, Oliver that. <laughs> she rather thousands of people die just to save Oliver. Like, are you kidding me? 
That's true, actually. <laughs> and my other negative is it's the way they end this episode. It is so weird, and it's not that good, in my opinion. The way they end this episode, it's like, you know, um, I couldn't be the arrow and be with you at the same time. I'm going to be with you. So you're going to put away all of your hard work just to make some fangirls happy. I could see your complaint with that, actually. I can. And then he's like, um, you know, I'm happy. It, like, it's like he's driving off into the sunset. What's going on? Hey, but that's cool. He actually found happiness and his life. Yeah, but, but this felt like more of a season, series finale than a season finale. So, yeah, those are my two negatives. I agree. It did feel more like a series finale how it ended. But I thought it was nice how Oliver did actually find some happiness. You know, he actually is with Felicity because I like that they were together in the beginning of season three. And then it kind of bugged me how, boom, they can't be together. And this whole season has been playing out. It's like, come on, you two. If you really love each other, just be together. It's not that hard. So I'm glad they're actually together. Hopefully it's not the same thing in season four. I hope they just stick to it. But yeah, I could see why you would be kind of underwhelmed how it ended because you would hope for something like bigger to build up for season four. So I totally understand that. Now, regarding my flaws with this episode, I thought there were a few scenes that did feel rather rushed. And one of them is actually the Oliver and Ra's al Ghul fight towards the end. It was a really cool fight, very well choreographed, but it was one of those few scenes I thought was rushed. Oliver, it seems like he's about to get beat by Ra's al Ghul. They have to do it the cliche. Oh my gosh, he's going to die. And at the last second, boom, phew, Oliver just stabs Ra's al Ghul. Like, it's like, he, he, he fights him, he gets down. At the very last minute, pajah! I'm back. Well, they did the I same can't... thing in the mid-season finale. Think about it. Um... Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's so true. It's all like, it was that tough in the season finale, yet in here, he just made it look so easy. I was just all like, um, where's well, the... We got the well, we well, got the training now, so... Yeah, but like, it's like, I just thought, I just found ironic. It was still a great fight, but just the irony of that. And then my final flaw is the whole virus concept. And the flashbacks, it was explored pretty well. But in the present day, it was just really that one scene where they found that man with the virus and he had blood dripping out of his mouth. That was really it. Like they mentioned it, but it was never really all that explored. So I felt like the virus concept in the present time wasn't really as explored as it could have been. Those are all my flaws with the episode. Yeah, because the virus and the flashbacks may seem like 28 days later, 28 weeks wait, wait later, contagion, outbreak, The Walking Dead, I can name a bunch. You so know, true. that's what may it feel like within the flashbacks, you know what I'm saying? But I do feel like in the present day, they could have done a better job with that. Yeah, the they could have done more with it. So yeah, overall, great season finale, in my opinion. You know, I really enjoyed it. Alrighty, so it's time for my official grade on this episode and my official grade on this episode is an A minus. Really enjoyed this episode. Can't wait to see what season four brings to the table. So yeah, gets an A minus. I normally do 10 out of 10 when I review TV shows, but since I'm on your segment, I'll go ahead and do it on a letter grade. Overall, really outstanding season finale. So I'm going to give it a B plus. Boom. So if you would like to see my full thoughts on this entire season, I do have a Arrow Season 3 review on my own channel. Probably trying to Tiger Dude will leave a link or something. I'll share your Season 3 review with spoilers at the end of this video. Yes, so hope you guys check that video out, and thank you for watching this video. And I'm WWE Fan 0599 and 22 Tiger Dude. And we will see you all later, mother poopers. Peace. Tiger power. Yeah.